Hi, I'm Dr. Aramblo and welcome to our hair loss talk episode number three. The topic is hair growth cycle and this is important for you to understand the benefit uh, from the non-surgical treatment options now available for hair loss. So stick around. Welcome to Asian Hair Restoration Center Hair Loss Talk, where the first Filipino-American board-certified hair transplant specialist and a dermatologist, Dr. Julieta Peralta Arambolo, the authority in hair loss management and diagnosis. Every individual has about uh, 100 to 150,000 hair follicles, and the hair growth rate is about 0.5 inch per month. Human hair growth occurs in a cycle of four phases. At any given time, each of your hair follicles is in different phase of the cycle. 90% are growing phase and 10% in resting phase. There are four phases, namely the anagen, the period of active growth that lasts three to seven years. This is followed by a brief period of transition phase called catagen or a dying phase, a two-week phase during which hair growth stops. And then the follicles will enter a resting phase called telogen, and usually this lasts for three to six months, to be followed by the last phase called exogen phase, and occurs when the follicle sheds the hair and begins new growth. So when do you give the treatment? So the, the non-surgical treatments available now the minoxidil, finasteride, the cellular treatments, the PRP, now we have the Regenera, progenitor stem cells. Uh, they're all effective to lengthen the, the growth phase. And you really need to consult for you to understand better. The non-surgical treatment options now available is a way also to stimulate hair growth in temporary hair loss conditions. In androgenic alopecia, the cycle is cut short or is shorter. So um, the hair will still continue to grow initially, but the hair weakens and thinner. The uh, non-surgical treatment, uh, especially the cellular treatment should be given as early as possible to extend the growth phase and to delay the progress of the hair loss condition. Because if not done early, the hair follicles will die and you cannot produce hair anymore. So timing is very important. So um, if a patient is uh, has a strong predisposition, usually this happens. Uh, the need to give the treatment as early as possible to delay uh, surgery, especially in a very young uh, patients. This defect of this non-surgical treatment is only temporary. Is still hair transplantation is the permanent solution to hair loss. Which one will benefit you? It's important that you consult. I hope that you understand how this non-surgical becomes important, especially if you have a strong family predisposition to hair loss. Hair shedding condition, on the other hand, like telogen effluvium, again, uh, described in episode um, one. Likewise, this non-surgical treatment uh, will stimulate hair growth. So it's really important that they're given early to accelerate hair growth. I hope you learned something. And if you have questions, please write down below. And don't forget to subscribe and like us. Thank you very much for listening.